All right, Twitch chat, it's time to do it. You know what? You know what it is time to do, Twitch chat. It is time. That's right, Twitch chat. It is time to watch the HRX Champion Spotlight. The Darkened Blade, a fallen god warrior bound to an ancient weapon. Aatrox is hell bent on bringing total obliteration upon his character model. Just war looks so worse. He's an unstoppable juggernaut that dishes out massive. Watch this again. He's an unstoppable juggernaut to dish out. <laughs> did, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Watch it again. Juggernaut to dish out. Now. That, how are we gonna make Aatrox look good? Just walk into his queue so we can, like, pretend it's good. That's my opinion about Urgot. Urgot to be kidding me. He <laughs> tastes like the Aatrox rework. Massive damage mid range attacks. Fighting till death. And then suck. Welcome to the Aatrox Champion Spotlight. Aatrox's passive is Deathbringer Stance. Every once in a while, Aatrox's next basic attack has increased range and damages the target for a percentage of their maximum health. This attack also reduces all healing and shielding on the target for a few seconds. Deathbringer Stance's cooldown is slightly reduced whenever Aatrox activates an ability, and additionally when he lands the edge of his Q, the Darkened Blade, on a champion. Speaking of which, let's talk about his Q, the Darkened Blade. Aatrox swings his greatsword up to three times. Each cast increases in damage and impacts a different area of effect. His Q has a sweet spot. Precise hits with the Darkened Blade further increase the damage and knock up targets. On the first cast, the sweet spot is at the very tip. On the second, it's along the outer edge. And on the final cast, it's at the very center, immediately in front of Aatrox. Each cast of the Darkened Blade brings the hitbox closer to Aatrox, so keep advancing to go 3 for 3. Each Q also increases the damage, regardless if you I feel like Aatrox is only going to be useful every 5 minutes. When he's flash on his third Q, maybe he does damage. Every other time, I feel like he's just not going to be very useful. With his current cooldowns and everything. No, 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 Twitch chat. No, 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 no. Landed the previous one for about twice as much on the final cast. Now that's what I call tons of damage. A uh, could be a uh, real uh, bastard uh, sword uh, in lane. The range on his Q lets him poke, punish, and push lane against melee and even mid-range foes. You know what they say, two handers are better than one. Aatrox W is Infernal Chains. Aatrox smashes the ground, damaging and slowing the first enemy hit. If it's a champion or large monster, they're chained to the impact area. If they don't leave the area to break the tether, they're dragged to the center and take damage again. If they break free, they'll be insubordinate and churlish. Infernal Chains pulls enemy- What? ...to the same spot every time. Use the A reference typically needs to reference things, not just be used at random. ...yip a cue for the perfect smackdown. Aatrox's E is Umbral Dash, which can store up to two charges. Passively, Aatrox heals for a portion of the physical damage he deals. When activated, he dashes a short distance and gains attack damage for a few seconds. You can Umbral Dash in combination with his other abilities to reposition, helping you land abilities like the sweet spot of the Darkened Blade. Umbral Dash is usually too short, much like the real dash, to be used for chasing or escaping, but it's just enough to get you over some walls. Ta-da! Use Umbral Dash mid-swing to match your opponent's movements and claim more Q hits. So you can't move in your Q. You can't move in your Q other than when you use your E. Your E, which has a 20 second cooldown. Aatrox's ultimate is World Ender. Did you think you could kill me? 
Aatrox unleashes his full might, becoming monstrous in size and taking flight on massive wings. As he transforms, Aatrox fears nearby minions and briefly increases his movement speed. The speed bonus is reactivated while out of combat. While transformed, Aatrox's attack damage is increased and he gains a blood well that revives him if he takes lethal damage. The blood well fills up over World Ender's duration, meaning the longer you've transformed, the more health you'll have upon reviving, as long as you die before you return to your puny humanoid form. I do not die. With World Ender, you can really wing it. The extra damage and revive means you can tower dive with impunity. When you're far away from the fight, you can ult early to give your doom some zoom, and arrive while the party is still going strong. That fight is a perfect the fight, representation of what I think Aatrox is gonna do in team fights. Early to give your doom olds to get bonus damage. Some zoom and arrive the party. Uses his W misses. Party is still going strong. Uses his Q. They immediately walk out because that's stupid. Uses his second Q. They're not in the ideal range. Uses his third Q. Wait, they've kited away from him. Now it misses. When you're ready to bring ruin, go big with World Ender. Once you're in the war zone, lock down lesser warriors with infernal chains and make them cry with a QQQ. As chaos unfolds, use Umbral Dash and Flash to stay on top of your. <laughs> this is how they're making him look good. Just so we're clear, this is how they're making him look good. Th this is it, Twitch. Chat. These are the best fucking videos they can get to make this champion look good. You're in the war zone, lock down lesser warriors with infernal chains and make them cry with a QQQ. As chaos does no fall, damage, misses abilities, has to flash, to gets kited. <laughs> Don't bother running from a darken, none can escape their wrath. <laughs> well, and this is why I think Aatrox is going to have about a 46% win rate. Guys, we need to get the best videos we can to Aatrox, but sir, we can't. He's so terrible. Well, what do we have? Well, we have one video where he misses everything and eventually autos the support to death. Use that one. It's the best we can do. Yeah, I don't quite understand because Aatrox seems to be a downgrade. It, it just seems to be another champion. It just seems to be another champion who's going to be too counterable, who looks kind of okay when they play perfectly, but you have to play perfectly. And maybe that those few times where they play perfectly makes them look good. But. Yeah. So like Jax looks good when he does a perfect counter strike, leap strike, etc, etc, but every other time he just gets kited. And I think that's going to be Aatrox. When he hits a 1, 2, 3 Q and kills someone from full health, people are going to be like, oh my god, that's incredible! And then every other time we're just going to quietly look the other direction and pretend that somehow he played bad.